Hey guys, it's Jacob with Above and Beyond Tech. Thanks for tuning in to week three of our new video series, Journey to Above and Beyond, where I take you behind the scenes of how I'm building my business, AKA what I'm doing every day, the victories we've had throughout the week and the losses we've experienced as well. So if you've ever been interested in seeing how a business is made from the start, tune in every Friday since we'll be doing our new video series, Journey to Above and Beyond. Also give this video a share so that way your friends can see it as well. Let's start today by looking at what I've been up to all week. Starting with what I do every day. Every single day I'm trying to meet with three to five people a day whether that be a customer or just to sit up and have coffee. So that way I can be building as many positive relationships in my community as possible. Not only am I meeting with five people a day, but I'm also making sure to do follow-up in the mornings. So that way I'm making sure that I'm responding to anybody, any questions that I've gotten or any messages that I just need to reply back to. Of course, that's what follow-up is. Along with that, I'm making sure to read at least one chapter in a book and take notes for, you know, just self-improvement. Of course, I'm definitely not trying to just stick to those three things every single day. I have to add a little bit of spice and variety. Plus, it helps expand a little bit quicker as well. So on Saturday, that was my only day off that I took this week. Sunday, I did compass time, which is just where I plan out my week, what I'm gonna do and what do I want to accomplish, along with editing the two videos that I had already shot, but I hadn't cut and edited yet, for my other video series, Tech Tips and Tricks. I have those videos coming out every Monday and Wednesday, so make sure to tune back in every Monday and Wednesday to walk t watch Tech Tips and Tricks, where I teach you a new thing on your iPhone, your Android, or your Windows PC, or your Mac computer. On Monday, I still had a few more appointments to fill for the week so to make five people per day. So what I did was I went to the local coffee shops and I wrote down the list, wrote down a list of names and phone numbers from all the businesses, business cards hanging on the flyer board right there. From there, once I made the list, I called all 50 of them to stack this week and next week. Worked really pretty well. You get about maybe half of them to set appointments. It was actually kind of cool. On Tuesday, I made some reference papers for a couple customers that I have so that way they can check back on them to relearn what they've learned already and just get a quick, you know, rehash. I also worked with a senior home that I do presentations at here in the area. I worked with them to redo the structure of the presentations that I put on once a month at their senior care facility. On Wednesday, I shot four of the intros and outros for the videos for tech tips and tricks. So those videos that I have coming out every Monday and Wednesday. Thursday, I'm not sure I was nearly as productive as I would have liked to be. Yesterday, I actually ended up only doing three appointments instead of the five that I'd like. And then after that, I didn't really get anything extra done. I just kind of ground my gears all day and thought way too much. It was one of those days that you kind of look back at and you're like, man, it's kind of like a wasted day, but I still tried and still worked forward. And I'm still getting better at this system of, you know, doing something new every single day, along with having my normal structure that I do every day. So, you know, I'll pass it off as a loss, no big deal. And today, Friday, you might notice that I'm actually in a different location than usual. I'm actually inside for once. Well, today, I not only met with six people for meetups and a couple appointments, I also came to a Toastmasters event to help set up for a Toastmasters training we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow, the local officers for the Toastmasters group are doing their yearly training, and I hope to set it up. I might not be a, an officer for Toastmasters, but you know, it's one of the groups that I really enjoy to go to. So I figured I'll come over, help set up the, uh, the tables and the chairs for tomorrow's event, so that way I can come and enjoy that. As far as this week goes with victories and losses, I feel like it might have been a little bit more of a loss week than a victory week. Or I might have just had a little more built up than I thought I was really going to get. The three customers that I thought were going to be big closes, well, they didn't exactly close the way that I thought they were going to. Uh, so that was kind of a loss. Along with that, I feel like Thursday was a loss as well, so I didn't really... Uh, 
feel like I actually had a wasted day. So, you know, it, it's feels like this week wasn't as great as it could have been. But I still had some really nice victories. Two of those customers that I thought were going to be actually really big closes still came out to be pretty good, you know, good customers to have. And so I'm really grateful and happy to have more customers. Along with that, I also set next week up to be incredibly busy. So I'm hoping next week I get a few more as well. You know, as far as it goes, I still got more customers. I have another shot with one of those really big closes that I thought I was gonna have this week. So really, I still have a ton to work with. As long as I'm getting a new customer every week, as long as I continue to grow and, you know, become a little bit better at finding my customers, I feel like it's all a victory. So in the end, I, I said that, you know, this week might have been a lost week, but really in the end, it still comes out to a victory. I still feel like I'm getting better every week. I know to cut my market down and uh, yeah. I also, of course, need to tell you what I learned this week. This week, I learned that I need to kind of cut my market down. Look to, instead of making a really big market that I'm looking for, Look for just a, maybe a thousand people. What thousand people need my business the most? Because from those thousand people, I know I can make my living. So now I'm working on cutting my market down a little bit, getting down to the specifics so that way I can get just to the people who really want and need my service. So that way I can really start to build my business. It's been a good week. If you have any tips or tricks on maybe expanding business a little bit quicker, or if you've been watching these and you have a few ideas that you wanna let me know about, send me a private message or leave a comment below this video. Also, as always, give this video a like and a share so that way your friends can see how it goes when starting a new business. Also, check us out on both YouTube and Facebook by looking up Above and Beyond Tech on, of course, YouTube and Facebook. And as always, thanks for tuning in this week. Check us out next week and have a great rest of your week. Bye.